What's going on y'all, Captain Collier here. Welcome back to the channel. Sorry if I sound a little stu uh, stuffed up. I've uh, been sick for about a week now and uh, that's why I haven't really had any action videos because I haven't been out on the water. But we're back out here now at beautiful Dolphin Island. The wind is blowing about 15 mile an hour out of the east. So we're uh, tucked up away around all these houses. We're gonna be throwing some top water around all these docks. But the main goal today is to be testing out this reel right here. I had a company reach out to me, wanted me to test and review one of their reels. The brand of the reel is Runkle. This is a Titan II 4000 size spinner reel they sent to me. They really just asked me to test and review this on my YouTube channel. So I said, you know, shoot, what the heck, send me a reel. Uh, the specs on this reel is actually pretty amazing. It's got 44 pounds of drag on this thing and uh, it retails for a little over $50. So if this reel can stand up to some fish, I would definitely recommend this reel, but this is my first time using it. So we're gonna give it a try, see what it feels like. And uh, I told them if I like it, then I would recommend it to y'all. I want y'all to know I would not recommend anything to y'all as far as gear if I didn't use it myself. So let's see if we can get some fish in the boat. All right, y'all, so like I said, we're gonna be using this Runkle 4000 size spinner reel. Uh, I've got it paired up with a Penn Battle 2 medium light action rod. And we're gonna start out throwing this Rapala topwater lure right here. Just gonna be working along these docks. Hopefully get on some action here. Can't, oh, look at that. Oh my God, dude. <laughs> First cast, first cast. That's a good trout, y'all. That's a good trout. Jeez, I didn't even <laughs> get a chance to say anything. I was fixing to start talking about what we was doing. Man, that's a good fish. Good fish. Dude, I, I like the way this reel feels. It's smooth. I got that drag pretty light. I don't know if we're gonna better eat this fish in the boat. Might have to get the net for this one, y'all. Man, that's a good fish. What we got? Oh yeah, good trout. Good trout. Oh man, let's see if we can eat him in the boat. Yeah! <laughs> oh my gosh, dude. <laughs> Y'all, check that out right there. Gorgeous speckled trout. He really ain't got that many spots on him. That was literally my first dang cast with that uh, topwater lure. Let's see what uh, he measures to the tail. 17, 8, 17, 18, 19, 20, almost a 21 inch speckled trout right there, y'all. We're, uh, we're gonna let this one go back. There you go. She's about ready. And she hammered that top water. There she goes. All right, well, let's see if we can't get us another one. The wind is blowing pretty hard out of the east, so that's why I'm tucked up in here, casting around these docks. It's a little protected area. Oh, no, don't you get my lure. Can't really fish out in the bay or anywhere else. It's just too rough to do any fishing out there. But uh, shoot, if I can get on some more action like that trout right there, I'll be happy. Really just coming out here to test out this reel and see see how it feels. We're sitting in about seven to eight foot of water. I haven't seen much bait action moving, but uh, I know there's bait in here because I can see them on my depth finder. They're a little bit deeper. It's a pretty good morning to be throwing top water. We've got an overcast that really helps with the top water bites. We might have us about 30 minutes or an hour before that sun gets up, unless the cloud cover gets pretty good. Oh, oh, oh my God, that was a good blow up. Come on, come back for it. I'm trying not to get on top of them here. Oh my gosh. Y'all, that was a big fish. I'm trying to change my speed up, I'm trying to figure out if they like it fast or slow. They are definitely right over here in this area. Oh, that was a smaller one. All right, so far, not a bad start. One good trout, a couple blow-ups. We'll work this outside bank here. Let's 
Oh. Oh, there he goes. Oh my gosh. That's a good fish. Good fish. Oh man, y'all, that's a dang trout. That's a good trout. I think it's a red though. He's got some dang weight to him. Ooh. No way this is a trout. Unless he's snagged. <laughs> Ooh -hoo -hoo. Got that drag pretty light. Come on. Be a monster trout. He really didn't blow it up like he was big, though. He's fighting like he's big. Come on. I think he's snagged. Man, this reel is smooth. I definitely like it. That's a redfish. Yeah. A little slot red. He don't want to come up. Don't you get in that trolling motor. Get out of that trolling motor. <laughs> there we go. Red fish on the top water. We'll see if we can eat him. Y'all think so? Oh, I don't know. He's pretty heavy. Yeah, let's get the net just so we don't lose the lure and the fish. There we go. Good slot. He might be coming home for dinner. He was not coming off. Not at all. There we go, y'all. Gorgeous red fish. Nice blue tail. He, uh, he hammered that topwater lure. 20, almost 24 inches there, 23, three quarters. All right, let's go ahead and throw him in the ice box. We're gonna bleed him out. Go ahead and stick your fingers right at, behind his gill there. Just like that. That way he'll bleed out, make that meat a lot better. You can see that blood coming out there. Stick him in the ice chest. All right, y'all, so change of plans. The uh, top water bite died. Sun came up, got hot, and uh, actually the wind laid down a little bit. So I decided to come out here to this double rig and uh, <clears throat> we're just gonna be using some cut bait on a little bottom finder rig, a little J hook with a, a half ounce, I'm sorry, quarter ounce uh, bank sinker weight. I just caught a nice white trout a while ago. It's probably a pound, a pound white trout. And uh, I went ahead and cut it up. We're gonna use it for cut bait. Just little pieces just like that. It is almost 18 foot of water. We got good marks on the bottom. We're gonna see what else we can't get into. I'm sure there's a bunch more white trout down there, maybe some redfish. It's my favorite bait for white trout, cut bait. They can't stand it. They love it. So already getting a bite right there. Got them. Got them. Feels like another white trout. Oh, that's a little, dang, that's a big croaker. <laughs> there we go, y'all. Little croaker, we'll throw him back. If he was a little bit smaller, I'd keep him for bait. Man, look at all the birds. Don't you hit my line. I love using cut bait because it doesn't like to come off the hook, not like shrimp does. So usually you can catch a couple fish off of one piece of bait. Just let it sink to the bottom here. It hasn't been taking long to get a bite. Sometimes I'll kind of give it a little action. The white trout like that action. Just a little movement. Oh, that's a white trout. He slammed it. That's a good white trout there. Hammered it. Yep, look at that white trout, y'all. Jeez, oh my gosh. <laughs> I haven't caught a white trout that big in a while. Oh man, look at that white trout right there, y'all. Not many white trout you can hold by a gill like that and make it look decent. 
be probably about 13, 14 inches. And that's all we're using right there, y'all, is just another piece of cut white trout. They're cannibals eating each other, but they love it. Boom. Boom, fish. That feels like it's probably a croaker. He didn't hit it like a trout. Oh, it is a little white trout. Hey, hey, that is good eating size too. There is no size limit on trout or krill limit. So basically you can come out here and catch as many as you want. I usually don't, I just catch just enough for dinner. Unless we're having a fish fry. Definitely over there by that rig. That's where they're hanging out at. Still using this uh, Runkle 4000 reel. I mean, it's doing fine. It's real smooth, light. Can't really complain too much about it. Feels about the same as a, uh, a pin, just half the cost. <laughs> little ground mullet. Didn't even know he was on the hook. A little baby. We call these ground mullet. Uh, I think they're also called southern kingfish. Good eating size, but I like them a little bit bigger than that. We're gonna let him go. Catching all kinds of species of fish. There's another bite. As soon as it hit, that might be another little ground mullet. Or a croaker. It's kind of small. Oh, it is a ground mullet. They sure do got some pretty colors on them. Got them. Got them. They got some weight to them. That's probably a catfish. I don't know. Let's see. No, it ain't either. That's a big trout. Jeez. Big old white trout. There we go. Another decent sized white trout there. Ah! Almost lost them. Alright, let's change it up. Let's see if we can fool one with a little sparkle beetle. A little piece of cut bait on the hook. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. There we go. On the sparkle beetle, baby. On the sparkle beetle. Come on. No, it ain't. No, it ain't. <laughs> That's a little baby flounder. Check that out. That is probably the smallest flounder I've caught in a while. <laughs> ah! Come on, buddy. I'm going to let you go. Look at that. He probably ain't no more than seven inches. <laughs> I'll let you go. Oh, yeah. Well, all right, guys, that's going to wrap it up for today's video. Hope y'all enjoyed it. Hopefully, maybe you learned something. If y'all haven't already, please be sure to smash that like button and subscribe if you're new. It's completely free. Helps me out a lot. And uh, if you enjoy the sport of fishing like I do, you won't regret it. And all in all, the Runkle Titan II spinning reel that I was using this day, you know, it worked out good. It was smooth. Drag was smooth. Uh, only time will tell. Uh, if it can withstand the salt water, which I believe it will. And uh, you know, for the price point, you can't really beat it. So whether y'all are new to saltwater fishing or you're just simply looking for an affordable reel uh, versus like Pin, Shimano, Dawa, uh, I'll have a link below in the description. Y'all can go check them out. So hope y'all have a great day. Hope y'all can get out on the water and get on some fish and we'll catch you back next time.